The sun is shining and everything is all right in Palm Beach, Florida today. Today is Tuesday, the day before the auction starts. We're basically going to get some preview action on everything that's going on here. As you can see, we're walking up and we're getting ready to check out our vehicle that was just arriving here. And now it's all loaded up and ready to go. Hey man, how are you? Now, if you ever sold a vehicle before, you know this is the bitter moment where you're looking at your vehicle one last time and realizing, wow, they are finally leaving and they're going somewhere else. They had to unload a special vehicle signed by Carol Shelby and getting our vehicles loaded up in the meantime on the reliable trailer. Throughout this video, I'm going to show you the point of view of how it's like to sell at a Barrett-Jackson auction. And I'll give you guys one last little view of how it looks sending out your vehicles on a reliable trailer. Sorry. And just like that, it's off and we just have to drive down and meet it there. Thank you, Reliable, for keeping them safe. Hey, YouTube, here's the Grand National here at Barrett Jackson. Today is Tuesday before the auction even starts. We're getting it ready. Everything is all done. Getting it all here. Only consigners and vendors are allowed here on Tuesday. So we get a little bit of a preview of what's going on. But we got two cars going across on this auction, including this Grand National. So stay tuned. With selling Barrett Jackson or any other auction, you always have the risk of either making a profit or losing, especially with a no reserve. Now, there are many different companies to sell through, but I highly recommend Barrett Jackson after dealing with other auction companies. I do have to say, though, Palm Beach is one of their smaller auctions, so if you're looking for the big bang, Scottsdale is their heavy hitter. Now, I have sold at Palm Beach in the last three years. I brought cars, not last year, but the year before that and this year. And as you know, with any auction, it's like playing a game of cards. Anything can happen. And with this market going on and interest rates, you can see that that affects some of the pricing that goes on at any auction, whether it's local or worldwide. Once you get past all that political stuff, you realize how much of a fun place this could be. Even with Shaq's vehicle right next to mine, this was one of his builds from West Coast Customs. It's owned by someone else at this point, and was recently sold to someone else who now owns it, thanks to Barrett Jackson. So if you're interested in selling, I would say bring it on by. I'm interested in maybe going to the Scottsdale auction with one of my latest builds. Right now, I'm working on a 65 Wagoneer. If that interests you, and maybe it could be yours if you want to purchase it. Or if you're just a Wagoneer or a Jeep fan, check out my channel and remember to like this video. Make sure you follow to see some badass vehicles get built on my channel. I'm still saving up for a shop, but right now I'm working in a two-bay garage and building some badass vehicles, going in the paint booth with them when I need to, and uh, working away. And again, if you're ever interested in purchasing some of these vehicles, let me know. Maybe we can strike up a deal even before an auction happens or go to the auction and bid on it yourself. We are exploring all avenues on how to sell vehicles at this point. So just like any good business, we're going to adapt and find other ways to sell as long as we could still make it to the auctions. We're going to be doing everything else and trying to really bring up where our buyers come from in all different areas. If you guys also sell cars or build, leave a comment below and tell me how you guys like to sell your vehicle. Give us all some good ideas. Also, thanks again, Bear Jackson, for a beautiful auction. You guys put on a beautiful show as always. Always doing the best that you can. Two thumbs up. We'll always endorse Bear Jackson and keep on telling everyone to bring their cars because I love it too. No matter what the risk is, this is one of the best places to sell and always will be. Alright guys, I'm going to show you a little bit more of what the auction looks like and then behind the scenes of bringing the car to the block and getting it ready for sale. Cars holding idle. Everything's fine. Day Wednesday, or day Tuesday before the auction starts. Holding idle, everything's working. 
Alright guys, so this is what the car looked like as we picked it up. I'm going to show you a little quick walk around, get you a little bit of some view on this stuff, so you can see what we started with and how far we were able to bring this vehicle. I have tons of metal work into this vehicle, new body bushings. We converted to an AC Delco 1987 version computer, upgraded turbo tweak chip, tons of other work that I can basically go on listing forever. Here's a little quick walkthrough before the final base and clear coat went on it. And there's been almost 800 hours, if not more, on this vehicle to get it back to the shape that it is. Now, I shaved the bumpers. You could see that in an older video that I did. I did a little few things. This is a true numbers matching Grand National. And truthfully, it was a pleasure to restore it. I know it's not that much of one of those cars, just like a GNX or something like that. But this is still just as rare with, I think, about 430 made of that year and even less with t-tops and then i don't know how many are still surviving but this is one rare g body true grand national with a we2 code in the trunk and it has a rebuilt numbers matching motor rebuilt numbers matching transmission it was a beast Now remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you'd like seeing classic cars like this saved and also put a little bit of a spin on it to make them look even cooler than they were from factory. Alright guys, thanks for staying tuned through the whole walk around of seeing the in between and the before of the car. Now this is yep. the car getting pulled out you're to go there. across the block and get ready to go into lineup. Yep, now you're past the, the things. Good job, they said. Now, the reason why I'm following this vehicle is because the driver actually asked us to stay right behind him and guide him through our car. Because a lot of these people, they don't know your car, so they do like any sort of suggestion to help them understand how to drive it better. This is a 1960 Chevy Corvette Custom convertible. This is real. Wow, this is awesome. Very nice. Restoration was completed in 2018. Wow. So, yeah, we only had, oh, yeah, all our shows were all in. We only had 50 miles on it. So, once it went up on for sale, everyone wanted to drive it. So, yeah. And then, of course, we 
skateboarding him on a flatbed and they insist on driving it in. And I'm like, okay. And then add one on the As soon as I got here, it's 60. Day two. Working on it to get it done for Bear Jackson. T minus 23 days that so we have to have it done. This is one of the biggest vehicles and realistically one of the hardest vehicles we have ever done on this date because it's just so big. At this point, we have probably about 1,100 hours into the body work just to get it back to a straight level even before I decided to go with the controversial but really cool custom rugged look of raptor coating now either you love it or you hate it and i'm somebody who loves it to death some people think it's to cover things up however what i have found even bed liner or raptor coating or any other type of coating you spray will still show what's underneath the surface so you still need to get it as flat as possible and as close as possible especially with the gaps because nothing is truly going to hide anything if this hard work and tons and tons of body work to get things even level to like how this car was before we decided to go with the rugged, very cool, off-roading look of this car with the Raptor coating. And here I am, I'm inside the paint booth, and I am spraying the first coat on of three, which I am a little closer, and that's okay. It took me a little over two hours to spray this whole vehicle with four coats. So the fourth coat is when you go on for the most uniform look. You're good. And now that you saw the before middle, here is the after look as you're looking at some pictures, some still images of what the restore of this car has come to. It was fully restored in 2005 and then lightly restored by us getting rid of anything else, especially aesthetically, in 2022 to 2023, finishing it up. All right, now back to the auction again to show you a little bit of it before we go to the finalization of seeing our last car go up. I hope this showed you some highlights of how it feels, point of view of selling a car at this auction, or even being a spectator. Because you're not always going to be able to film every aspect, and I tried my best because you're going to be caught up in the moment. But I hope you enjoyed and lived through my moment too by seeing some of the video footage. Thanks for all the love and support and watching this channel or trying to finish this video as I know it's not the shortest video. But I hope you enjoyed it so far and if you like it, remember to like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Or videos of me pulling apart old cars and fixing them up again. As you can see, they have all types of vehicles here, including exotics and even old, old, old vehicles like this one that's steam powered. Or you can keep strolling on down and you might even stumble across someone's celebrity car like Jimmy Buffett. And anyone can purchase these vehicles, even if they don't have the money because they offer loans right from Barrett Jackson or from banks or wherever you want to get them from. So bid away. And here's Jimmy Buffett's vehicle going up for sale. This is going to go for a lot of money. That's cool. Now we're taking a stroll through the main building where you will come through once you finish paying or scanning your pass on your necklace if you're a consigner or work with the company, or are filming or anything in that category. You could see all types of vehicles from different companies here.
as you can see, there's so much to look at with so many different tents and buildings that offer tons of vehicles of all choices, from exotic to classics to antiques to modern cars. Throughout the day, there's different waves of crowds going through all the tents, whether they're just buyers or spectators. There's tons to look at, like I was saying, that you're going to get lost in everything of all the hard work that all of these sellers and builders have put into building these vehicles. If you were at this Barrett Jackson Palm Beach auction, please put down below what vehicle was your favorite and why. Alright guys, let's get back to strolling around. I didn't put any music in here because I know a lot of people don't really enjoy music and they'd rather just hear a little bit of chatting about the vehicles. As you could see through the eyes of someone who's walking through this auction, you can see how far these tents go. These things are ginormous. They have to have at least over 100 cars in each one of these tents. And if you go inside the building, you'll be surprised at what you see in there. In those buildings, they have a lot of exotic supercars and really famous cars like the Joe Dirt movie car, the kit car that was a tribute reproduction, but came out beautiful. There's tons of things, and I'm going to show you a little bit about it right now as we go through in here. This is the entry light into one of the most prestigious buildings that you can get in. It used to be called the Pavilion Building. I ended up getting my car in this building at the last auction, not last year, the year before that, I got my Camaro in this building, and it was really a big honor to get in here. Now they did it a little bit more fancy, and they added carpet down and rubbed the vehicles off, and I really approve it. It looks really nice in here. It's a nice setup. They got some AC pumping, so you can come in here and cool off and look at some of the best builds. These are all years ago. I wonder where that one went in the reliable with our car. I, I haven't seen it here yet.
wearing a poster. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. The sun is shining. It's beautiful out. It's not raining. How can you complain on a beautiful day like this in Palm Beach? I hope you have a good day, man. Thanks, man. How's little, it going today? Good. I'm a little nervous, so it's getting closer to the time. So. That's right, dude. Yeah, so yeah. is it going on the block?